Hello, today I am with uh, Claudio Caldado from the Interop uh, uh, strategy team and we're here to talk about the open data protocol. So this morning at uh, Mix during the keynote, uh, we demoed basically how developer can leverage the open data protocol uh, called OData to build new scenarios where they can easily uh, consume and uh, share all sorts of data using this uh, OData protocol. So, Claudio, uh, you're going to tell us a little bit more about OData and give us another demo and a little bit of in-depth explanation on how this thing works. But let's get started. What is OData? So, OData is um, a, a technology that was uh, built uh, by Microsoft initially with the name of ADO.NET Data Services, and now it is officially called WCF Data Service. The ODATA now is a, a, a protocol, a specification that is under uh, the OSP, so this means that basically is uh, our version, the Microsoft version of uh, open sourcing uh, the a specification, so everybody can really take the, uh, the standard and, and, and write their own implementation. So OData is uh, a new technology that is based on existing standards uh, such as HTTP and a RESTful uh, based type of uh, invocation. And then uh, what uh, Microsoft has done is to extend uh, an existing uh, uh, standard like AtomPub in order to add a more rich set of uh, properties and functions so it is now uh, possible uh, to uh, both read and write data from, from a, a service exposing uh, or implementing the OData protocol. So there are um, uh, right now the uh, Microsoft side that is called WCF Data Services that you can think of on the server side part of the technology. And then now uh, we also have a quite a wide range of uh, client uh, application, client SDKs or libraries that you can use and I can mention, you know, the clearly the .NET, uh, JavaScript, uh, we have PHP, uh, Java, and we have also a new SDK uh, uh, based on Objective-C that can be used in order to build applications on the iPhone. Good. So maybe we can just look at a simple demo to get a better understanding on how it works and how you build it. Sure, we okay. can spend some time on, on looking at one of the samples that are included with the PHP, the OData SDK for the PHP, and see how the, uh, the code will look like. Okay, perfect. All right, Claudio, so where are we starting from? Okay, so uh, today I can show you a very quick uh, demo, one of the samples that we include with the OData SDK for PHP. Uh, it is an application built uh, using the uh, Netflix OData service that is available uh, right now. I think that is already a test uh, type of environment, but it is uh, no data service hosted on Azure. So what we did is to build a very simple search-like type of application using some of the features uh, built in in the uh, OData framework. So in this case, for instance, you see this list of general. Those are uh, uh, the, uh, data, th this is data that is coming directly from the service. So I can select, for instance, one specific uh, um, um, set of uh, movies that I want to see and then uh, by querying the, uh, the web service I get, I get the data that I'm looking for. I can also select the language and there are uh, clearly we, we could have built a very uh, much more richer type of search uh, but this is something uh, uh, in order to keep the code very very simple. Uh, another uh, things that I can, uh, I can show you is for instance paging. Uh, this is a, 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 a feature provided by the uh, OData protocol so the ability for the server, for the producer side, to provide paging automatically. So it's much easier for me, client side, to build uh, the application. So in this case, for instance, uh, you know, I have uh, uh, this type of, you know, uh, browse, you know, uh, previews and next. Clearly, those are type of things that can be done um, in any sort of web-based application. But the benefit of using OData is that this actually function is done by the server side. So for me, client side, I don't need to, to write a lot of code in order to enable my application to be able to query data in a sort of paging uh, type of fashion. Okay. So Claudio, can you show us where the data is coming from exactly? Uh, yep, the data is actually being a, a RESTful and Atom-based type of protocol. It's very easy for me just by using 
the browser to actually see and look at the data. So in this case, I see that you know I'm I'm uh, um, connecting to the Odata um, service, and in this case, I can see you know the the catalog. And you see here, those are the type of what are called entities exposed by the uh, server side. If I want to show, for instance, what this entity is about, I just need to uh, go here, um, type the entity name, and here you see an example of the data that is coming back from, from the server. So I see all the properties exposed and the type of data. So in this way, it's very easy for me uh, as a developer you know, to look at the data and then I go on the uh, coding side and making sure that I'm using the data in the right way. Okay, so let's, la let's now look at the coding and you're going to explain to us what is uh, the flow if I want to build something like that. Yep, so what the uh, ADO.NET SDK uh, does is uh, we have a built-in uh, tool that basically takes this data, this metadata exposed by the uh, OData service and build uh, uh, what we call a client-side, a proxy library that I can use in order to write um, the, uh, my application. And here you see, for instance, an example. You see, the, uh, before we were looking at the uh, Netflix uh, application. So here is, for instance, an example on how I can filter, I can get you know, a search for um, movies with a specific title. In this case, I see that I just need to, uh, this line is basically, I connect uh, to the server side, and here, what I can do is just by using the APIs exposed by the, uh, the toolkit, I can run very simple queries like, like this one. You know, I have the catalog of titles, that is the data that I, I was just showing you before, and then I have a set of what we call query options, that allows me to uh, collect and uh, uh, receive only the data that I, uh, I'm looking for. So in this case, you see that I have a filter option that allows me to filter the data. Uh, I can select you know, uh, the uh, movies that start with the specific name that the user specified. And then in this case, I can use another query option that is ordered by in order to get the data already sorted. So there is nothing that I, I need to do on the uh, client side. Okay. When I specify the query, I just need to execute it, and then I take it by using this uh, function show, basically to render the content of the data on the screen. And I can show very quickly. Here you see that is the show uh, a function that is actually basically going through the array of objects that I get from the, uh, the OData service. And here you see that it's very simple uh, for me just to take you know the object and read some specific properties that are uh, clearly pre-built by uh, the Odata service. So the, my user, uh, my developer experience is definitely uh, much easier. Okay. Can we take a look at uh, the class that is generated by the proxy and see uh, where those uh, attributes coming from? Yes. So if uh, we go, and this is the netflix.php, this is the uh, actual source file generated by the command line tool that we include in the uh, Odata SDK for PHP. And you see, for instance, this is an example of uh, the uh, titles, you know, the catalog title. This is the way that Netflix uh, call it. And then here you see that the class exposes all the properties uh, um, uh, that are basically defined the, uh, in the Odata uh, metadata, in the Odata protocol metadata. So in this case, I have the average uh, uh, ratings. I have the rating. I have the uh, box art that is actually the, the picture that you see. I can see the title, available formats, and so on. So those are all things that are basically built by the command line tool in order to make it easier for me, a PHP developer, to write uh, code on the client side. All right, pretty cool. I think uh, this is a very good information, and we hope that uh, all developers will be excited by Odata and will start uh, exploring all the possibilities. Thank you, Claudio. Thank you.